Welcome guys to another video now today I want to go over a minecraft storage issue that a lot of people are having and basically use my experience of this glitch to help out you guys now the storage glitch that I'm talking about basically is a glitch that causes your world either to corrupt or a menu pops up where it says that you're out of storage and it knocks you back to the main menu. Now basically, uh, I have a couple theories with this glitch. I don't have a for sure solution but I do know things that you can do to help with this and it has actually worked before. So basically, you go into your Minecraft worlds after hitting play, and you can see this little storage bar at the very bottom. Now, my theory is that when you have multiple people in a server, that the storage from the different players adds up and it causes the world to be filled. Now, I think this because on an SMP that I play on, uh, basically we have an issue where when multiple people join the server, like uh, like five or six people, then the world ends up not working and it either corrupts or says that we're out of storage. Now that is why I think that may be true although it is not confirmed. Another theory of this glitch is basically the PS4 um, storage. Basically that adds up maybe between players or the host has that issue. I'm not 100% sure but I do know things that have worked for us and I'll go over some methods that you guys can try to fix this. Now one of the methods that you can try to help fix this glitch, basically you want to go to your worlds and you want to try deleting some of your worlds uh, from here and just, you know, delete random worlds that you have, worlds that you don't really need. As you can see, I have a very low number of worlds and it's just lowered my storage in general and it's not necessarily a bad thing. You don't have to delete worlds that you want to keep necessarily, just delete the worlds that you don't really need. A second method that you guys can try takes place in the PlayStation menu. Alright, to start off the second fix or second solution to this, you want to start off by going to your PlayStation menu and you want to head over to settings. And then from settings, you want to go down in settings all the way down to storage. And then from storage, you want to go to system storage. And then you want to go down and click saved data. And then from there you will see a bunch of different games. You want to click on Minecraft. Now after you click on Minecraft, basically you will be brought up with a menu with a bunch of worlds and saved data from Minecraft. Now, the reason why I brought you guys here to this place is because sometimes the worlds or the saved data from the worlds can actually duplicate and to basically erase that duplicated data that may be taking up storage, you can go here and delete it. Now keep in mind that the data you see here is the exact data from the game, so if you see a world that you do want to keep make sure you do not delete that do not delete worlds from here that you want to keep only delete worlds that may be duplicated from worlds that you don't want or just delete worlds that you don't want from here I would stay away from deleting any other extra data I would just play it safe and delete the data that may be duplicated or delete worlds that you don't necessarily need anymore now the third and final method that I have for you guys also occurs in the PlayStation menu now for the third and final solution, you want to go back into your settings and then go to storage and then go to system storage again. Basically, instead of going to save data, you want to go to the capture gallery. Uh, there's another way you can also do this. You can just go to capture gallery in your applications, but there's, there's two ways to do it. Whatever one works for you, you want to do. Now basically, once you click capture gallery, you'll be brought up with a bunch of screenshots and video clips from different various games. Basically, you want to delete some of these clips, which can help free up space on your PlayStation, which, I mean, I think it has helped because based on deleting video clips that I don't necessarily need anymore, it has actually helped with the glitch. So, yeah, this is another thing that you guys can try, and, yeah, hopefully this will work. Alright, well that is going to wrap up this video. Hopefully one of these three methods did end up helping you out. If they did, make sure you let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, give this video a like and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.